This is your KCTV 5 News Update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Morgan Mobley. Here are today's headlines. In Kansas, another person has been charged in a deadly fire that killed a baby. Carly Phelps was booked on involuntary manslaughter and child endangerment charges. Phelps lived at the Shawnee home that went up in flames earlier this month. Yesterday, a Western Missouri man was given four life sentences. Graydon Denham was sentenced for the brutal murder of four family members. It happened in February of 2016. Denham is accused of shooting his grandparents, his sister and her baby, then lighting the house on fire. The Platte County prosecutor says he believes this is the only quadruple murder in the county's history. The Kansas State Education Commissioner still has a job after announcing his resignation. The State Board of Education rejected Randy Watson's offer to step down. Instead, they suspended him for 30 days without pay. It comes after he made a controversial comment during a virtual education conference. Dr. Watson appeared to be telling a joke, but the punchline was offensive to Native Americans. The governor is now requesting a meeting with Watson and the head of the State Board of Education. Hello, I'm Bill Hurlbrink with your Saturday morning weather update. Cold air in place to start, but the good news, plenty of sunshine will help us warm up into the low 40s by this afternoon. A little bit of cloud cover will move in before sunset, but not expecting any rain. A look ahead to tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine again in the forecast all day long. Not a cloud in the sky. I think we get to the mid 50s. Our warm up isn't done yet. We could see 60s by Monday, approaching 70s by Wednesday. Have a great day. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.